So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we'll be discussing about children prop in React. Now children prop is a special prop in React, although it sounds just like a just another prop. A children prop is basically used. Um, you won't use it here mostly, but here inside the component itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create something called as like a div an outer container i'm going to say hello props dot name and i'm going to say props dot children here all right you might be thinking what happens now so well i can go ahead and write children here as um you know abc why not and you know it will just work just like you expect it to hello mehul abc Maybe you might think that I would just go ahead and write a JSX expression consisting of a P tag which says DEF, something like that, and it's absolutely fine, right? DEF just works fine in the uh, DOM as well. We see that we get a P tag. Cool, right? But the thing is, you can do it with any other prop as well, right? So you see, I changed it to ZZZ and it still works. <clears throat> then what is the point of this children prop? Well, the children prop actually allows you to write stuff inside your custom component, right? So if I write something like this here, then whatever you write inside this is automatically passed as a children, as a children prop of that particular component, right? And if I hit save, you're going to see that this code <clears throat> this code still works and the reason this code still works is because this p tag now is passed as a children prop of this particular object right and we can just pretty much go ahead and verify this from our babel example so i'm going to go ahead and paste this right here and i'm going to see that we get the output something like this so we have React.create element create component, right? <clears throat> it has one prop that is name and the children of this particular thing, that is the third argument I said, is React.create element, which is a p tag and it has no prop and this is the child contents, right? But when you create, when JavaScript creates an object out of this and passes and fills the props, prop object of this particular component, the child is passed as the children prop right so what happens if i have a children prop already defined on the component as well would this be rendered or this well you see that the actual meaning of having a children prop was for this code so it obviously makes sense that if this is present then this should be rendered right and that is what exactly happens however the moment you remove this basically there's no child then the children prop takes over and you know you get the regular 222 out of it so yeah that's that's how pretty much the props.children work and that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one